On the 20th of December, 2020, Bishop Tony gave some prophecies for 2021 in our crossover service. Here are the fulfillment of the prophecies. To God be the glory. The spirit of deception, heresy, and idolatry we manifest greatly worldwide in 2021 with a satanic agenda to derail the church of God. The philosophy and doctrines of men will be promoted to the detriment of the doctrine of Christ. The philosophical beliefs of far-right and far-left groups will confuse and entice many believers from the truth and taint the testimonies. If they don't pray fervently and walk in love, the spirit of Jezebel is at work together with the spirit of the Antichrist. As social media platforms step up their effort to crack down on misinformation about COVID vaccines, some groups on Facebook and Instagram are using code words to avoid being detected. Police cited her for disturbing the peace. Conspiracy theories don't just stay online. Thousands have turned out on the streets of the capital Bucharest for multiple protests against masks and the vaccine. Get your chip when you get your COVID vaccination. They want to alter us. They're sharing false rumors and lies about COVID-19 vaccines. This is a final enslavement. And they have influence because they're religious leaders. In Israel, a rabbi claims the vaccine will make you gay, which is nonsensical. All those claiming to be saved. And in the US, some evangelical Christians are debating whether vaccines are the mark of the beast, a sign of the devil, and the end of times. Conspiracy theories will thrive worldwide in 2021, especially in Western nations. Many of the conspiracy networks will expand mostly on social media to promote division, strife, and hate. A lot of believers will fall into this satanic snare by allowing the opinions of influential people to replace the guidance of the Holy Spirit and the sacred truth of the Bible. QAnon is a movement of people who believe the entire American political and cultural establishment, mainly Democrats and Hollywood executives, are a Satan-worshipping cabal of baby eaters and child sex traffickers. Somehow, Donald Trump is the savior who will defeat all of the pedophiles and jail all of the Democrats. QAnon has used myriad channels to spread its wild theories, most of them online. Now, the movement has found other ways to radicalize new believers, notably evangelical churches. A recent study found that as many as one in four white evangelicals believe in core tenets of QAnon. I've told you the whole time this election was fraudulent. We got so much proof. The only people that can deny it are crack smoking, demon possessed leftists. Authorities say 40 year old surf instructor Matthew Taylor Coleman from Santa Barbara, California, confessed to murdering his two year old son and 10 month old daughter this week in Mexico, telling the FBI he was driven to the killings after being enlightened by QAnon and Illuminati conspiracy theories. Despite the anti-COVID-19 vaccine, the virus will continue to spread in the early months of 2021 and kill many people worldwide. But nations will begin to see healing, deliverance, restoration, and victory over the deadly pandemic towards the middle of the year. The huge dip in COVID cases is being attributed to the vaccines and the natural immunity in people who have recovered from COVID. But despite the proven success of the vaccines, there are still millions of Americans who refuse to get vaxxed. The coronavirus pandemic is slowing down for the fourth week in a row globally. Now, the number of new daily cases has dropped by 8%, with 32% fewer uh, new infections in Africa. The Delta variant now makes up 99% of new cases. But since July 15, the seven-day average of cases has dropped from over 45,000 down to just over 26,000 last week, a drop of more than 40%. Part of the reason for that is likely the vaccines working incredibly well, 
natural immunity, especially because the Delta variant ripped through the population. And of course, social distancing and masking that were sort of part of the fabric of the response. Global newly confirmed COVID-19 cases dropped. According to a WHO report from September 6th to 13th, there were less than 4 million cases reported worldwide with a 13% drop from the week before. The organization said that considering that for the past two months, there were around 4.4 million cases reported, this is a significant decrease. China, Taiwan, and some Asian countries will do well economically in 2021, while the U.S. economy will improve remarkably. Australia and New Zealand will record economic gains, while European nations will show economic resilience despite the odds. African nations will face some economic hurdles but also experience growth in some sectors of the economy. Import and export will thrive in the continent. Nigeria and South Africa will improve their economic status. So China's economy grew a record 18.3% in the first quarter of 2021. That compared to the same quarter last year. And that is according to the country's National Bureau of Statistics. Restaurants and stores are full. Shopping districts busy with people out spending. It all points to an economy enjoying its own mini boom, while much of the world is still mired in a pandemic gloom. Brennus, the U.S. economy is back somewhat. It grew at more than 6% in the first quarter of 2021 as the combined impact of a mass vaccination rollout and federal stimulus checks triggered a surge in consumer spending. Nigeria's gross domestic product grew by 5.01% in the second quarter of 2021, the highest economic growth recorded under the Hamadou even Buhari administration. Its figures released by Stats South Africa or Statistics South Africa shows that GDP increased by 1.2% in the second quarter of 2021. Now the data shows that contributions to the increase came from the transport, communication and the agricultural industries. The division between liberals and conservatives will widen in 2021, making it difficult for the divided nation to heal fully. The president will face a lot of challenges with significant victories and some setbacks. A large number of Americans will not embrace his message of unity. The administration will introduce new bold policies that will make some people happy and upset others. This year feels a bit different. Some have been able to be reunited, though disagreements over COVID vaccines are still causing a lot of strife. As a nation, polls show we are also deeply divided on many other issues. According to a Pew Research Center study, 85% of American adults want significant political change and fewer than half are satisfied with the functioning of democracy. Misinformation has spread rapidly on conservative media and on social media. There are also sharp divisions between the two Americas over the results of the election the January 6th insurrection, the border, guns, and abortion. The collapse of the government comes shortly after the Biden administration announced the U.S. military mission in Afghanistan would end on August 31st, accelerating the withdrawal of U.S. troops after 20 years in the region. Some Republicans are blaming this rapid fall on the White House, who they say severely misjudged the situation. President Biden didn't follow through on the conditions that were in place. He just let them come and run roughshod. Southwest airline workers protested at headquarters in Dallas, Texas, against the vaccine mandate. They held signs. They chanted the anti-Biden slogan, let's go, Brandon. Also, California teachers and parents did a statewide walkout in protests of Governor Gavin Newsom's vax mandates. California, the first state to order vaccines for grades K through 12. Wildfires and storms will continue to ravage nations in, in the Americas, Asia, and Europe, especially US and Australia. Sadly, this will continue beyond 2021 if we do not pray for God's intervention. The blue sky over Merritt, BC has been obscured by shades of red and black. The flames and smoke of a monster fire more than 60,000 hectares in size and growing. The fifth strongest hurricane to hit the U.S. mainland in recorded history. It hit about one o'clock yesterday afternoon and it wasn't until this morning at sunrise 
that some of it began to calm down. Early this morning, seven degrees uh, in parts of Dallas and other parts of the state. Uh, and right now we're looking at a evening that could get even colder, uh, breaking historic temperature records that have been in place now uh, for decades. More about that Mayfield, Kentucky tornado. This was a powerful storm that struck under the cover of darkness, as you can see. We know that 100 people were inside a candle factory when it struck. The governor saying at least 12 people could have perished at that one business alone. The death toll already at 50. He said it could climb even higher as more damage is seen throughout today. Joblessness and food insecurity will hit many nations in 2021 if the governments of the world does not come up with innovative economic policies. They've queued up for hours trying to get hold of the cheapest food they can buy. Nearly 80% of Lebanon is living below the poverty line as it experiences the worst economic crisis in decades. Venezuela is currently considered one of the world's hunger hotspots along with some of the poorest countries in Africa and the Middle East. Venezuelans were already facing hyperinflation, high food prices and gasoline scarcity. But the COVID-19 pandemic has made the struggle for food even harder. During the worst of the pandemic, food banks across the U.S. were inundated with families in need of help. Many were facing food insecurity for the first time. Varying levels of community quarantine have left many Filipinos jobless and hungry. According to a survey conducted by the Food and Nutrition Research Institute of the Department of Science and Technology, 62.1% or 6 in 10 Filipino families suffered moderate or severe food insecurity. The Philippines economy will begin to recover in 2021 despite the COVID-19 pandemic resistance and a number of deadly storms and other calamities. A brighter economic outlook for the Philippines as the International Monetary Fund raises its growth forecast for the country despite the virus surge and the extended lockdowns. It now sees the Philippine economy growing 6.9% this year, the fastest in the ASEAN region, and it's also an upward revision from its previous forecast of 6.6% growth. Severe tropical storm Marin continues to bring heavy year rainfall in the province of the Locos Norte. In Barangay Saud Pagudpud, Ilocos Norte, around 20 houses got flooded as the creek in the said barangay overflowed yesterday morning. Hundreds of families evacuate in the Mindoro provinces due to heavy flooding. Up north, Roads leading to Baguio City were temporarily closed due to several landslides. Heavy rains also triggered floods in La Trinidad in Benguet. In Pampanga Province, floodwaters submerged more than two dozen villages. Parts of Metro Manila flooded again due to heavy rains. We should pray against the tragic death of some known world personalities in 2021. Our prayer of faith can make positive difference. We have lost a legend. Uh, Larry King has died. He was 87 years old. DMX has died. The rapper's death follows his hospitalization after suffering a heart attack triggered by a drug overdose. DMX turned 50 in December. Prince Philip, the husband of Queen Elizabeth, the Duke of Edinburgh, a fixture of British life for decades, has passed away at the age of 99, just weeks before his 100th birthday. President Benigno Aquino died at the age of 61. A life cut short, many say, but one that was also dedicated to the service of others. North Korea and Iran we make headlines in 2021 for the wrong reasons. Likewise, Israel and Russia. UK, we also face a lot of challenges. Let us pray for the peace of Jerusalem and the Middle East. Tonight, the world's attention is focused on the, the growing threat from North Korea after its new missile launches and alarming rhetoric. Talks resume in Vienna today to try to rescue the Iran nuclear deal. Diplomats from Britain, France, Germany, Russia and China are meeting Iranian counterparts for the first time since the hardliner Ibrahim Raisi was elected president five years ago. This morning, outrage from U.S. officials after Russia carried out a missile test early Monday, firing an anti-satellite missile into space. 
obliterating one of its own satellites and creating a vast debris field that's now orbiting Earth. Now, Britain says it will issue thousands of emergency visas to foreign truck drivers to help ease supply chain problems that have led to fuel rationing and empty shelves at supermarkets. Foreign ministers of G7 countries, including Canada, forming a united front against Russia. The focus of talks at a gathering in Liverpool, England, have largely focused on the ramped up military presence of Russian troops on its border with Ukraine. In Tel Aviv, images that change everything in an escalation that has already spiraled so fast. Israel's missile defense systems lighting up the sky as they try to intercept incoming Hamas rockets. 130 of them were fired from Gaza in one barrage. Flights at the international airport were urgently suspended and diverted. 